This is a this is a V8. This is yeah, it's got a 430 horsepower Corvette. No way. Is that that's so cool? Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got another off-road recovery for you guys. Uh, this one's pretty gnarly. We have a Jeep Wrangler that's 30 minutes outside of town, all forest roads, uphill, up elevation, and over a foot of snow on the coldest night of the year. So stick around, it's gonna be a good one. Maggie, what's the weather? It is currently five degrees and snowing. Um, it's pretty windy out there too. Um, yeah, I just hope this can be a quick one so we can get home to our warm house and our dogs. They're not with us on this one because I don't think they do well in this cold weather. Um, so we're probably going to go down to about five or seven. Um, we still got six miles to go, but it's getting kind of gnarly out here. So yeah, we're going to air down. Look at this charger. Uh -oh. <laughs> Somebody's going to find it. Oh, I got my alpaca sweater stuck in my zipper. All right, come on, check it out. I'll show you guys what we're airing down to. That was about six. Ooh, that was about three and a half. That's about four or five. This guy always takes a little bit longer. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna have to air that up a little bit longer. Why? All right. Well, while that while that one's airing down, um, in the past couple videos, you guys have told us these crazy stories about your off-road recovery situation. So, if you got any stories, we love to read them. Comment down below. Share your your best, your favorite off-road recovery moments. Anytime you've been stuck been in trouble we love reading about that stuff we really really do we read every comment so comment below your craziest off-road experience and yeah we'd love to read about it wow that's pretty cool All right, enough of that. Back to work. All right, I just want to take a quick moment on our way to this recovery to, to thank everybody for their support. Um, this past month, we've got over uh, three and a half million views. Uh, it's been a pretty wild ride. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, all of your comments um, really help push the channel up, so we really like that. Even if the comments are wild, um, we still love it. Um, it just brings us one step closer to becoming monetized and being able to do this stuff completely free of charge and that's kind of what we're working towards we want to help people as much as we can and and do this for free right now we're just charging to kind of maintain our equipment um, our fees are super affordable a lot of you were asking what we charge um, yeah there's 
just about as affordable as you can get for what we do. Um, so hopefully this channel keeps growing and yeah, we can be a free of charge service out here and share these experiences with you guys. So keep the comments coming, keep sharing the content. And yeah, uh, I really enjoy doing this stuff. That's it. Heck of a night, Mike. Yeah. Heck of a night to be out here. The coldest night of the year. Had a better, <laughs> nice to meet you. Ideas than this. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So what do you want to do? Do you want, are you still trying to go out no, though? No way. Okay. Cause no I, way. so yeah, there's eight to 16 inches forecasted. Yeah. So yeah. you might get stuck out there. Yeah, no, no, no. No, I learned my lesson and I got bruised ego and I'm, oh, I'm gonna head back to Salem. I guarantee you I've been stuck more times than you. <laughs> it's. It's it's kind of an adventure, you know. Yeah, it's something. How much further is your place from here? Ah, uh, four or five miles. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, we were kind of game plan, and I was like, I wonder if we're gonna have to go all the way there. Like, I didn't. Yeah. But uh, yeah, looking at how bad that is, I wouldn't want to go that way. No. Even. Okay, what's and you know what? It's been so windy and this looks like a snag patch. Mm -hmm. You don't even know if there's a big snag underneath the wind drift and it could get caught up and yeah. rip a rip a sidewall or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it looks like you have a great receiver yeah. hitch. Yeah. <laughs> nice pintle there. Let me just check out what we got going on. Oh yeah. All the way down to the frame. That's a nice big drift right there. So take a look. Take a look at how this snow. I can walk on top, but once I break through, it's just all sugar. That's the worst type of snow to drive in. So getting turned around is going to be tricky. Yeah, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to do that right here. Yeah, it's thinking. not so bad down there. Yeah. It's not so bad down there, so maybe uh, I'm thinking that I turn around and pull him backwards. Um, maybe we can even set up the winch. Um, I might just, I'm probably just going to get dragged though, because he's all the way, he's, he's diffed out all the way to the frame. So thinking best bet, I'm thinking I just snatch him out. All right, let me go walk around up here and see what's going on. You stay warm, stay stay in the car, crank that heat. For this one, 
This one we're gonna use the 30 foot bubber up. See, is stuck and we're gonna need all the momentum we can get. Try to pull him out in one go. <laughs> We're going to use our handy dandy bubber up soft shackles. We could just hook up to the pintle, but I don't want to take my hands out of the gloves. And that looks like it's frozen pretty good. How was the pass? Yeah, a couple trucks actually blew off. Yeah, last night that was, or was that last night? Yeah, it was last night where the wind was, it was howling all night. I was up all night. It was that loud. So there's actually a pretty good turnaround spot right there where I turned around. It's not too bad. All right, so it's just uh, gonna hook you up with a walkie-talkie here. Just push to talk on the side. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of talk you through when I'm gonna pull. What I'm gonna okay. do okay. is uh, I'm basically just gonna pull you right back out of this hole and then stop and unhook and I'll pull forward and then we'll kind of get you turned around. I think you should be good over there. Um, but basically what I need you to do is uh, when I say, you know, put it in reverse, I'm going to need you to put it in reverse. Don't floor it, but give it some gas. Uh -huh. okay. Give it some gas and help my truck help your truck out. Okay. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get it done in a couple pulls. If not, we'll have to dig you out a little bit and stack tracks underneath your tires. But hopefully we should just be able to yank you out. Okay. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, are you ready, Mike? I'm ready. All right, I'm pulling you. Did he move? Yeah. A little bit. Are you out or are you still stuck? I think I'm out of the initial hole, but I'm stuck again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull you a little bit slower this time, but that was excellent. All right, pulling out. All right, go ahead and stop. That was a deep hole. That was a hard pull. Excellent. Mike, that was a hard pull. You were yeah. you were buried. <laughs> this is a this is a V8? This is yeah, it's got a 430 horsepower Corvette. No way. Is that that's so cool. I didn't even know they did that. Uh Maggie just sold her uh, her Jeep. All right, I don't want to totally pack it up yet, just in case. Yeah. All right, so let me let me pull forward. Um, this this a uh, Land Rover Defender. Defender. Yeah. Cool. From from uh, England, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, I kind of, I ran over this bush here, but if you can get a little bit over, there, there's a snag right here. So like, as long as you can kind of go over to the left here, I think you should be okay. 
pull up a little bit. Yeah. Back, back there. Cool. Uh, yeah, you know what? Keep this for, for the okay. time being and we can just talk to each other on the way out. Let me let me pull up and get out of your way. Eight cylinder Jeep. I love that. Yeah, keep that radio. We'll kind of lead the way. Okay. Hey, good job. This thing is sweet. Yeah, that went pretty good. Um, I think the coolest thing is that V8 Jeep. That thing's got an LS3 in it. Uh, super cool, uh, super cool Jeep. But yeah, we uh, we hooked up the 30 foot bumper rope and uh, gave him a real hard pull and he pretty much popped right out. Um, pretty much best case scenario because it's cold out here. It's probably below zero at this point. We, we all want to get home, get warm and get out of the elements. The wind is howling. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Maggie, are you still, uh, how you doing, Maggie? You, you still warm? Um, I'm doing good. My hands got cold being out there, and I was just on the verge of being like, I'm gonna die. Yeah. And then I got out there, and I got here, and I was just like, oh, my God. Yeah. Um, but I got back in the truck just in time. We got our handy diesel heater here, so I warmed right up. And now we can get home. That was nice and quick. We can get home to our doggies. And uh, yeah, just remember, if you ain't getting stuck, you ain't trying hard enough. We get stuck, personally, more than all of our customers combined. So, yeah, take it easy, subscribe. I almost forgot to mention, I mentioned it before, but if you're still around, don't forget, we love reading about your off-road recovery stories and adventures. We love hearing about people being stuck and what they did to get out. Yeah, we just like reading about it. So comment below, we love hearing the stories if you haven't already and uh, see you guys next time. Any words for your fans out there? Oh, no. Hi, Mom. <laughs>